Uh, today I thought I'd have a bit of a break from the car and I thought um, I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the garage. I may as well make it look the part. So uh, you, certainly you guys may have noticed this uh, big black cabinet that's behind us here. I thought uh, maybe I'd do some um, artwork on it. So today I'm going to uh, airbrush. You can see I've got my reference here, a, uh, a nice Porsche logo on there. Um, for years I uh, made my living as an airbrush artist, so I thought uh, I've since retired um, from, from that line of work. But uh, that's, that there you can see is the, uh, the sort of thing I used to do, if we can get out of the glare. Um, as well as uh, as well as a lot of uh, pinstriping and flames and all that sort of thing. So spend a couple of hours and tidy up the uh, uh, make make the uh, old cabinet look a bit better. I think is a, a good idea. So um, yeah, I thought that's a little bit of a cheeky update without actually being an update on the car. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, first things first is. Uh, I'm going to just uh, sketch out my rough plan. I, I do everything with the airbrush, just all, all freehand, so I'll get a, a basic uh, outline of what I'm going to do and then um, I get stuck into it. So uh, let's go. struggling here a bit today because I I don't have any paints anymore so I'm just using the colours I've got so I've got orange instead of red um, hopefully I'll be able to uh, change the look of that with a bit of uh, the airbrush I'm going to do in a minute uh, but basically now I've got the, the shape there so it's a matter of coming back and uh, starting to with, with the black and, and starting to give it uh, uh, a bit more structure so uh, let's see how that goes <laughs> shadows and a bit of shine and um, normally most people would probably leave it here but like with the Porsche I think I uh, I can't leave it standing I've got a got a hot rod the badge so there's a little bit more I'm gonna I'm gonna do to it. just just to, to liven it up a bit more so let's get into it <laughs> Okay, I 
colours and stuff look a little bit odd at the moment, but uh, and uh, a lot of it is due to the fact that I just don't have um, a lot of paints because I'm just using the scraps I've got lying around. But a uh, little trick here with this to make that look a little bit more flame-like is to add a candy apple over the top. So that's what I'm going to do now, which is a transparent colour, and uh, that should hopefully uh, bring it up. So let's have a look. product now um, it's not perfect it's just a couple of hours um, out of my uh, car building schedule but I thought it would uh, liven up the garage a bit um, you know it's it's just a quick free hand with the paint I had left lying around uh, which I haven't used for a couple of years so um, yeah that's that's what we've got yeah until next time <laughs>